I had a boyfriend, but he left me for somebody else. He left you for, for someone somebody else? else. Mm -hmm. What? What'd you do? Because I, uh, no, I didn't do nothing. I treated him like I like, was the best him everything thing. Everything you want? Everything, everything. Everything. I used to. I can't name not even one thing that he paid because he never paid me for nothing. I used to take him out. You know, he was 17. He was real nice, you know. In fact, he then had a job and stuff. So I understood that. But I don't know. After a year and a half, I guess you know we're not together anymore. So, so now who who you going with now? Nobody. So you're all alone? Uh-huh. Are you uh, working the street? Sometimes. If I really need to. I got a I got a job now. Oh you got a job now? Uh, I work in eight away. That's why I dance topless. Oh she's so dancing topless mm -hmm. now so you make it. And some I bones. do um I imitate Mariah Carey and Sally's. Let, let, let me hear a little something, just a little something. No, I don't, I don't, I don't, like, sing like her. I, you know, a lot of people tell me I look like her. But I used to have lighter brown hair, you know, and my hair color was like hers, but I dyed it like two days ago. Well, I, I gotta ask you one question. Mm -hmm. I mean, don't be offended. I mean, I'm a straight shooter. Mm -hmm. You know, around there, there's a lot of transsexuals, you know, the whole bit. Uh -huh. But first of all, you gotta tell me, are you a guy or a girl? I mean, you look like a girl, but you know, you, I mean, you're pretty. I'm both in one. Oh, so you're you, you're a guy, but you look up. I'm a transsexual. Okay. Well, what is that exactly? You know, I mean, if you had to describe it. What is that you know. exactly? Um, I consider transsexuals like the most intelligent people in the world, because like we used to be boys at first, so we know what boys want. And now we're women, and we know what women want. We know what <clears throat> what are two sides. You understand? If like somebody has a friend for transsexual, they could give some such good advice. You know, because they've been through everything. You know, it's not really easy to be a transsexual. You know, it's very very hard. You realize what a guy wants, and you could give it to him. You know, what a real guy wants. You also realize... I know where it tickles him the best. I'll okay. tell you, you're sounding good. <laughs> Wait a minute. Slap myself. Well, I can speak for my boyfriend, my ex-boyfriend. I can speak for him. And it wasn't nothing like... It was just I wanted to have sex with him. It was something of, that we liked in each other, you know? And he didn't knew at first. He did not know. Because, you know... I could fake my voice. You understand what I'm saying? If I like a boy or something, I will fake it because I don't want him to know my business at first. You understand? I got you. Um, <laughs> he doesn't like dick. You, you know, like he doesn't like that side of me. He okay. likes the woman side. You know, he doesn't like pee pee or nothing like that. Okay. You know what I'm saying? He likes me because that. What he saw was, you know, what he saw was a girl at the first time. You understand what I'm saying? He saw a real pretty girl, and I was everything that he wanted in a woman, you know? But he found out he got depressed. He freaked out. You know, he never hit me or nothing. But he told me, you know, like, we're not going to be together, blah, blah, blah. But we started calling each other and going out and blah, blah, blah. So, you know, Does he, he liked it. Does he she, liked it me, for me. You understand? Because he fell in love with me he as a girl. Right. He I know what her. And he liked me, I was like, I didn't want to hit the jackpot. But I told him, he freaked out, but, you know, he said that he's not going to let what I got down there come between us, you know, us being together. You won't take the operation, will you? Uh -huh. Would you take the operation? Yes, you would? definitely. That's my struggle, baby. Yeah. Trying to you know, it's really frustrating. It's really, really, really... How hard are you working to, for this operation? Are you trying to raise money? Or? Well, um, I told my mother that I was gay. I told my grandma then I had problems with my mother. She doesn't want to see me. It's been three years since I haven't seen my mother. It's she knows? Three years. She knows. She knows. Mm -hmm. she knows. They threw me out. They really rejected me. They showed me that they really don't care about me because if they would have cared about me, first of all, they wouldn't let me down like that, you know? Regardless, you know, no, I, I didn't have a piece. They know that I didn't have a place to go, a piece of bread to eat. 
You understand what I'm saying? They turn so, it back on you. That's what you say. They don't care. Well, I was hustling in the street for two years already, okay? Because of my mother. I don't put all the blame on her, but I put part of the blame for being so naive and so stupid and not accepting. Is there any chance in your life you think you could ever make amends with your family? Look at I wish. That's like, a lot of times I cry. Many times, and I still do to this day, because I miss my mother. I miss my grandmother. Mm -hmm. I miss my father. I miss everybody, every single body, because I have to give them up for my way of being. But some people are born, you know, they're born, you know, like with dicks and stuff, like straight guys say, but um, if you don't feel comfortable about the way you are, you have the right, you have every right to be what you want to be. I got a little surprise. I'm doing a documentary for HBO. We drive around 30 nights. <laughs> you don't have to do, make lies up around. Right? No, 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 seriously. Ooh. Listen, I'm not joking. What? I'm gonna fucking kill you. You yeah, could be my I'm next victim. <laughs> Are you serious? Oh my god! I can't believe I told you this whole entire thing. Well, it's fascinating. Babe, when you smiling. You ever seen this show on HBO? Oh. Yeah, I've seen it, man. You kidding me? We're on game camera. <laughs> You're fucking around, right? Where are you going? I'm going to Monia. You know how to get there? Who's that? That's on, that's on Broadway. Broadway, yeah. Yeah. What's up? How you doing? Rough night, man, let me tell you. What happened? I'm pissed, man. Forget him, man. I, you know. You got a girlfriend? Yeah, I got one. You engaged? Am I engaged? No, I don't have one girlfriend. I go out with a few of them. Why? Well, let me tell you something, man. <sighs> just just be careful, man, because girls are fucking whores. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Pissed. You know what I'm saying? I'm fucking Greek, you know what I'm saying? And the bitch is Italian. And I fucking have a kid. And the bitch, now she wants to separate, and I can't see my fucking kid. Is that right? Tell me, how are you feeling when you're in that situation? And her fucking parents, just because they got money, they think they could do whatever they want. So what happened? Oh, man, I, I, I don't even know where to start, man. Let me tell you, man, she was supposed to go to Puerto Rico this weekend, try to ease things out, try to think about things. Then all of, all of a sudden, I, f I find out from a friend. A friend tells me she's not there. It's like she's over there hanging out. She's supposed to be in the morning now. If I go there, I'm gonna fucking kill the bitch. She didn't go to Puerto Rico? Where'd she go? Yo, man, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, man, don't, don't you listen? She didn't go. She's a scammer. She, she never went. She, she might be on pneumonia now. One of my friends told me this, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, she might be, like, you know, cheating on me or whatever, but that's not the point. The point is the kid is the most important thing, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm not fucking Italian. This got to happen because of fucking racist shit. Her, her parents don't like me. And the right? parents didn't know you were going out with her? They know, man. They know. After two years, just because I fuck, I just got laid off, all right? Yeah. I got laid off about three months ago. I'm a fucking accountant. Yeah. All right, I got laid off after tax season, April 15th or whatever it is, and they think yeah. I'm a fucking bum because I can't get a fucking other job just because they own a construction company. They got all the money. They yeah. think they could treat people the, the way they want. But this is the fucking United States of America, you know what I'm saying? The bigger guy always fucking wins, you know what I'm saying? And I hate that shit. I hate that. Yeah. On top of it, she's got to go to fucking ammonia where I know all the people, all my friends over there, you know? You think maybe she's, maybe, uh, she's having another, another affair or something or... I'm gonna go check that out right now. Whoever she's there with, man, she better have some explaining to do. Let me tell you. The first lie that comes out of her fucking mouth, I'm just gonna like smack her or hit her, you know, something, you know? Yeah. You don't wanna do something like that. So you wanna keep it as honest as possible. I don't know. I mean. Let me tell you, man. You gotta be 100% sure, man, who you fucking get engaged to. Yeah. You can't trust nobody in this fucking world, man. It's amazing. Girl, you know what I'm yeah. saying? I, I fucking treat her nice. I'm a nice person. It happens to a lot of guys, man. What are you gonna do, man? I wish I had somebody to fucking guide me. What the right thing to do is right now, you know? But there are a lot of pretty girls out there, man. Come on. You gotta get your mind off it. You gotta go out, man. Yo, let me tell you something, all right? There is a lot of girls out there, all right? You know, I don't know. I'm not saying I'm good looking or anything. Maybe I'm a, you know, you know, you're a guy. I don't want you to evaluate me, all right? Yeah. But. You know, I'm just very, very lucky to be with a fucking hot girl like this, pretty girl like that, all right? Oh, man, I don't know if she's with a guy. I don't know what the reaction would be if she's with a guy or with her friend. I mean, I don't know what the fuck is going to happen, man. You don't want to do nothing. 
because you want to see your kid, man. You don't want to jeopardize that. Go away for like a weekend, a week or something, man. Get your mind off it, man. Grab a friend or something. Go on somewhere. I don't know. All these fucking years, man, leading me on. <laughs> don't, don't get bent out of shape. Whatever, man. Don't let a woman ru ruin your life, man. You don't want to get in trouble like that, man. Yo, make a left over here. You know where Ammonia is, man? Yeah, the trouble here. Like don't, a light, don't make yeah. another left and just go down the block. I don't want you to be in the front just in case, you know, just in uh, case I have to fucking like, ah, oh, man, I'm going to break some fucking bitch's head, man. I swear to God. Come on, asshole. How are you guys doing tonight? Good. All right. We need to go to Brooklyn. You're in love? Yeah. <laughs> Does it show? Yeah. <laughs> love it for a sight? No. No. <laughs> no. How long did it take? Uh, I guess three or four dates. Right? Yeah. yeah. But it wasn't like totally like gaga for quite a while. It took I think it took uh I think it was three dates. And then it was Gaga? I was fucking gone, man. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he freaked, too. I did. I freaked big time. So how'd you freak? I just kind of lost all control, you know? I mean, like, every thought was all about her. And... That's beautiful, man. Right? Yeah. <laughs> obsessed? Look at you. You look totally obsessed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you look like you're uh, whacked on a drug. We've just yeah. never said no yet. You never said no, huh? No, we haven't said no yet. Have we said no? What did he ask for? <laughs> Whatever comes up. <laughs> Wow, yeah. But his friends were like, what? She'll do that? Are you kidding me? It's the first time I've ever felt like a real balance, you know? It's the first time I feel like I'm able to give him everything I want to give him because he can handle it. And yet, he gives so much more back to me. Right. It's weird. If I had to tell you if I knew much about him, I really don't know really much about him except I know a lot about him. Yeah, and I don't trust women. So, as a general rule, I never have. So, you know, to trust her is pretty fucked up. But the sex is good and great with you guys? Oh, it's fucking unbelievable. Ah! <laughs> it's the best? <laughs> Definitely the best. Why? Because it's that, that freedom to go, you know? It's like, you don't have to be afraid to do anything. I mean, like, we've had some, like, really kind of passive, mellow nights mm -hmm. that, you know, weren't, like, you know, rocking down the walls or anything like that. And then there have been other nights that were just, like, totally extreme and crazy. And it's okay for any night to be anything. You said it before. I'll say it again. <laughs> it rocks my world. Uh, <laughs> let's take, for instance, like, tonight. Mm -hmm. You don't mind if I get a little personal here, do you? No, go ahead. All right. We were, you know... We were on our way. It was really dead at Shea Stadium. You know, it was totally empty. We were throwing back a few brews, getting a little drunk, and I'm looking up to the top bleachers, you know, and I figured that what a great fucking idea it would be to take her up to the top and, and get it on in Shea Stadium, you know? <laughs> It never came to fruition because we got busted by a cop. But <laughs> we got busted it, by a cop what? At, at, up at the top bleacher, we got <laughs> we got snagged. So they stopped you from like... Yeah, they stopped us when oh, we were getting man. pretty close. See, what a bummer. We're all the way in the top. There's not even a soul. Not, forget about a soul around. Then a motherfucker in the place would even know that it was happening. You know, and it would have been like a major fucking fantasy fulfilled had it come through. 53rd and 9th Avenue, man. Okay. Yeah, you don't care if we smoke, right? What are you guys up to? Going to a party. What kind of party are you going to? Oh. <laughs> Every kind of party, man. The best kind of party. What kind of party? Big rock and roll party, man. Big rock and roll party? <laughs> yeah, you know, like the rock and fucking roll kind of party. You guys from New York? Yeah. Delaware. The first state of the rock and roll revolution. So there might be drugs at this party? Yes. You guys do a lot of drugs? Drugs do us, man. <laughs> you know what I mean? So what do you guys do? Like, you guys have been dating for a while now? and Yes. Yeah. Except what? It's in the 90s, my man. 
the 90s. So. Yes. Yeah, man. Until the motherfuckers come off the A's cure, which you know they got. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Until some motherfucker comes off the cure, which they're sitting on, and we have fact that they're sitting on it. You have fact? That yes, sitting on we it. do. But you can't say you're not bisexual. What are you talking about? You're both bisexual? I mean, I think everybody is. Yeah. I mean, come on, man. You are. I can tell. <laughs> I saw the way you're looking at me through the rearview mirror, you kinky cab driver. I was looking at you through your eyes. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's too, man. <laughs> you made me do that scavenger hunt and kiss Kelly. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, that was you, baby. <laughs> you know what I mean? She didn't see me running around town making it with all the guys now. What do you mean? All the cats in my band went, like, a little crazy. The whole, like, the drug thing went a little crazy, and then the sexuality thing started going crazy. Like, everybody questioning their, their uh, sexual preferences and stuff. And I went through this whole thing where, like, to begin to feel like God the devil and Jesus all at once, man, you know what I mean? Yeah. And the radio starts playing songs, and the radio's playing all these songs, and fucking, like, every time he says the word baby, uh -huh. right, the word baby, I'm like, yeah, he's singing about me, anybody, anybody on the radio. But that's all good, now. Pussy power. <laughs> mm, speaking of pussy, who's over, man? <laughs> no. Mm, we're gonna fight who goes first tonight. <laughs> See that, man? No, I don't see anything. I'm just driving. She set my eye on fire. <laughs> you know? <laughs> I think we should, too. And then meet them in a little bit. Where? St. Marsh. Dude, take us to St. Marsh Street. <laughs> right now. Third Avenue in St. Mark's. You want St. Mark's Are Hotel? They? Fuck yeah, man. That's our spot. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Take us to the dungeon. Mm -hmm. Our workout room. <laughs> <laughs> we don't want it so bad now. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, man. What a fucking night. <laughs> <laughs> Let's don't get him in the movie, movie man. No, no. We gotta get you in the movie, man. <laughs> oh, oh my you god. Can film stuff with me and your girl, man. Uh huh? Film stuff with. Alright. Yeah, then we have to kill you. <laughs> okay. That's what we do. That's what we really do for kicks, man. Yeah. Go around <laughs> filming cab driver fucking my girlfriend, then I kill him. <laughs> hey, you like it? <laughs> you like the concept for a movie? <laughs> It's not worth all that, I guess. <laughs> Is it? I don't know, you tell me. <laughs> <laughs> it's definitely worth it, man, if you know my girl. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if I believe it. <laughs> yes. I am fucking can't find the lighter, babe. I think mm -hmm. we're out of luck. <laughs> we're gonna have to stop and get mad. Mm -hmm. Go I'm ahead. Go ahead, I'll ask you. Don't touch him, I'll kill you. Careful. Mm -hmm. I, I found it. <laughs> so wait, now let me get the story straight. You guys came from a party and you're on your way to the party. Mm. You want the yeah. door? Oh. Oh. Uh. You, why don't you, okay. Oh, you found the lighter? Mm. What was it? Oh, did you hide it somewhere? Mm. <laughs> yeah, it's like I wanted to be alone. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't touch you. Mm. Let me see the toes mm. tonight. Mm. Mm. I just graduated college today, man. Oh, congratulations. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You believe it? No. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh my god, what a night. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> You're making me crazy, girl. Between A and B, please. Sixth yeah. Street, you mean? Uh, Sixth Street. Oh. Okay. So how's it going tonight? Okay. Fine. Cool. <laughs> what are you up to? Well, he's just visiting, so. Oh, know, where are you from? Showing him the town for the first from time. France. From France. Yeah. Welcome. First time Thank here. You. So I'm comparing Paris with New York. <laughs> uh, and how do we stack up? <laughs> oh, for the moment, perfect. Excellent. <laughs> so how do you two know each other? We met in Paris. So was it love at first sight? Yes. It was, huh? Yeah. <laughs> they say Paris does that to you. 
but this is true. Yeah. Yeah. Well, for me, completely. Yes. Uh, <laughs> le coup de foudre, and that's what we say in French. Le coup de foudre, like, wow. Oh, okay. Love at first sight. Love at first sight. Ooh, look at the moon. Is that full tonight? Isn't it gorgeous? It looks pretty full. Look at that car. That's a pretty awesome car there. Mm. So tell me, what's the difference between girls from Paris and girls from New York? Um. Well, more she, cooler, every, every, more open, she, friendlier, well, and not as, not as mm. anal and, and uptight, right? No, I guess it depends <laughs> on, the, on the girl you met. You know, they are all different and but in she general, has the character. Was, yeah, like in general. Uh, in, general in general, French women are pretty, they've got this, a stick up their ass, yeah. <laughs> no offense, but it's true. They don't really laugh, so they're afraid of being loud. They're very, very well, proper yeah. and quiet. And After a certain age, they try, you know, to find the, the real one, and they get really boring, boring, and they be careful they don't let of it loose. what they, the image they give to, to other people. They're prudes, kind of. Hmm. Yeah. Here, we, we don't really we let it all hang out, you know, <laughs> right? But uh, not at all. I think know. French girls have more class than American, ex but not not Jennifer. But <laughs> oh, excluding her. Excluding her. Yeah. I, I disagree. So. Now, what do you that, mean by class? I mean, an attitude. Uh, because uh, they, they keep quiet and they're not loud and they're. No, they're no, prudes. even on, on, on their way of being, I think. Uh, uh, you know. But see, that's a matter of opinion because if you're French, then you think that way, and if you're American, you think the other way. So class is all relative, I think. I don't know. I don't think so at all. <laughs> And like you said, it just all depends on who you meet, too, so... Exactly. Like, how specifically, though, like... like they all flow with code, you know what I mean? They're, they're all dressed in, like, you know, the same clothes, they have the same trends, and so they all have to... They're all, like, proper, and, and, and if that proper means classy, that's not what it means to me. To me, classy means to be an individual, an artist, to be, like, you know... Like you know that you you show who you are. You don't follow a certain code, and you're yeah, not so there proper. There is an artistic and... way of being of American woman that uh, I don't I know. Think I don't like class. it. It's, I think that's it's low class, really low, 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 low class. But that's a generalization. But, um, that's not true. So I prefer people like maybe look all the same, but you don't see really. But that's because you're French, and I'm American, no, so it's a difference I'm, of opinion. He's yeah. asking me. Well, I know, but I'm saying I have a difference of opinion. I don't understand that word class. I think that's just really kind of a sad word, really. It doesn't mean much anyway, so... Yeah. What is class depends on the class fashion of the country and, you know... And I, being fashionable I don't know anything. and pretty and quiet and, and, and whatever, if that's class, okay. Yeah, sure. <laughs> so, what do you think the difference between French men and American men is? Frenchmen are scummy, sleazy, and, and, well, all of them are, but... You just criticize only France. France no, is nothing good. You're criticizing America. No, come on. <laughs> Since the beginning of the discussion, she's only criticizing French. No, France, no, no. He, isn't general. he criticizing Americans that they're, oh, we're, we're not classy? What are you talking about? <laughs> Sorry, dear. <laughs> what do you think is the difference between French men and American men? American men are more men than French men. French men are much more feminine than American men. Extremely more. Yeah. How That's so? the main, main thing I find. They're, they're, I don't know, they're just more feminine the way they speak and they're, they, they're, they're, they're not as into working out and they're not as, just, just they're not, you don't feel like they're men, I don't know, they're, you don't feel like you're protected by them, they're a little more, you walk around France and they all look like women, it's true, you should go to France, it's like, American people, they're just like, bigger, like, people, in yeah. every aspect, yeah, French men are just... How do you feel about that? Well, I don't, I don't agree, it's not, you know, you know, it's, if you, if you wear basketball, uh, Red Bull sings all the day, it means that you are a man. I don't no, know any men that do that. It's class, so, you, you know, know. It's like the way you are dressing. You know. So. See, we both have completely, like, you know, different. But I don't know. I don't know. General uh, opinions. It's just because when you're raised in one country and you what go to you another like country, it's just people? different. What do you like in French men? Then? What do you like in them? Because you don't like anything since well, the beginning. Well, you're just an exception hate. to the rule. Oh, 
I guess I'm not feminine, so <laughs> that's good to see. I'm very happy. <laughs> you are a real man. Wow. She, she feels protected. Okay, that's cool. Okay, we're, this is fun right here. Thank you so much. Let me let me tell you a little bit about what it is that I'm doing tonight. Oh, yeah, 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 totally. I'm working on a documentary film for HBO. Oh, really? Called Taxi Cab Confessions. No way. Are you I drive serious? around all night long. <laughs> if you sign... We're not sign, on film. If you sign... Oh, yes, you are. <laughs> if, if, you sign, if you sign a release... Oh, all right, sure, I'll sign the release. Why not? This is cool. Are you married? Did you... We're getting married. When do you get married? In 10 days. 10 days? No kidding. <laughs> wow. Yeah, so I'll save this name now, but that's, that's a secret. When did you guys get engaged? The first day we met. No, for real? Mm. Are you serious? <laughs> yeah, first day. <laughs> 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 Like 11, 12th Street over there. Whew. What do you mean? Hooker. You hooker? Yeah. What's it like being a hooker? Yeah. It's like anything else. It's not like That's... being a babysitter. No, it's not so great, actually. You ran into maniacs. Yeah. I almost got killed last Sunday night, as a matter of fact. What happened? I went with this guy, okay? Yeah. But um, a girl he got killed six months ago, and the police were showing the picture of him because he went to the St. Mark's Hotel. Right. And you're on, like, film, the camera, when you go in there. So they had a picture of him. I said, hey, that looks like this cab driver that used to always pull over in the wintertime and say, one day I'm going to go with you. Same coat, same hat, same mustache, everything. But I said, ah, oh, he seems too nice. It can't be him. Well, anyway, he comes to pick me up. He's been killing a lot of girls, like, in Midtown area, too. Either strangle him with a rope, or stabbing him in the heart with a knife. And he had both, he had the rope and the knife. He pulls out this rope, like made of bo out of like boot strings with like a slip knot on it. I said, oh shit. I said, what's that? He said, oh, that's my whip, but he didn't whip me with it. So I said, I gotta get rid of this thing. This is, <laughs> with the slip knot, that's too much coincidence, you know? So I said, let me whip you with it a little bit. I hit him a couple times and I balled it up and I threw it backwards into the bathroom. He didn't see me do that. He went crazy when he couldn't find that thing. Really? Yeah, I said, oh, no, this is him. So I threw my socks on. That's where my money was, thank God. And he goes, wait. He walks over to the dresser. I walk behind him, and I'm looking over his shoulder. He unzips his bag and takes out a knife. Honey, I... No. I ran out of that room. Before he could turn around, I was out of that room. Are you Screaming, serious? yeah. Totally nude. You ran out naked? Yeah. Where'd you run to naked? And I fell. You know how in the horror movies, the lady always falls? Sure. And the guy gets her. I fell. I fucking crawled into that office. Did you call the police? Yeah, and they think they thought it was a fucking joke. They thought it was a fucking joke. They were like, what did you do, rob him? Oh, he, he was hitting you with a whip, you were sucking his dick, ha ha. Like, it was a fucking joke. And as soon as we started, like, having sex, he changed, you know what I mean? How, how did he change? His eyes were, like, going back and forth. They even rolled up in his head, like a... He felt like he was possessed. Wow. And that little thing that was a whip with the slip knot on it, he was like petting, he had that next to him in the bed, and he was like petting it, like, like he was going, it was really sick, you know? <laughs> Very weird. I'm the only one who, has, I think, has got away from this guy. As long as he kills hookers, they don't seem to care. They don't even put it on the nose. Now, if this guy was going around killing regular girls, wouldn't it be on the nose? Like, how did you know, though, when he, when he started getting weird? He couldn't get hard or come. He was sniffing coke and drinking. But you guys were having sex, so he I must... was blowing him. Oh, you were blowing him? Yeah, he couldn't have sex because his dick wouldn't get hard. You're still blowing him and he's not hard? That happens a lot. A lot of people can't get hard at all. Well, how, how long have you been working? Uh, off and on since I was like 15. Why? What's the most amount of men in one night? The most amount of men? I don't, it was in Washington, D.C. It was like a state troopers convention from some like hick town down south. 
I don't know, it was a lot of guys. I didn't fuck them, I gave them blowjobs. But I gave a lot of blowjobs. Like how many? I had like twelve hundred dollars. I don't know. You figure it was only they were only spending twenty bucks a piece. So. Oh my come on. <laughs> That's like sixty blowjobs. I gave a lot of fucking blowjobs. There was a lot of guys there. How old are you now? Thirty-three. So you've been doing this more than half your life. Yeah. Well, I stopped for a few years, um, not that long ago. Like about four years ago, I had met a guy, fell in love. I thought I was in love. I have a daughter, she's three. How did you meet the guy? When I was working. You met him working? Customer. Some people you get along with, it. they're not all nuts. So what happened again? Oh, I still live with him, but we're not oh, you like, do? yeah, because of, of our daughter, she loves him. So why did you, um, like, fall out of love with your boyfriend now? Right after I had my daughter. I know he was a sex maniac. I knew he was cheating on me. So I followed him one day, and he was picking up a prostitute. Really? Um, and these are some really, oh, God, like real crack addicts and all that. I busted him. And I don't know, it just wasn't the same after that. I kind of hated him. But how did you, like, hide, and, and how did you catch him, you know what I, I mean? I followed him, and he was talking to the girl, and I waited for him to talk. He went on his bike, and I, I took the car, and I followed him. I hit him with the car, actually. You hit him with the car? Yeah. Not to kill him, just to, like, knock him down, you know? I just, like, bumped him off. And then I was, you know, like, yelling and cursing at him from in the car. Really? Yeah. I don't know. I'm jealous. If I love somebody, I'm jealous. I don't know why. You would think I wouldn't be, right, doing this kind of work. But if I love somebody, I'm real jealous. But, I mean, you really expect him to be faithful? Like, yeah. you expect to be with a guy that's faithful when you're yeah. a prostitute? But, I mean, you're sleeping with people for money. Yeah, but there's no... It's like smoking a cigarette. It's, it's not even like you're having sex, really. Uh, what happened is they left the keys inside the car, so his dad would get still there waiting. So dad locked the keys in the car? Yeah. I, I, I'm the one that has to have the key. And you had the spare key, didn't you? <laughs> but how come your dad didn't come and pick you up? His keys are locked in the car. So he'd rather have his son do it instead of him getting a cab and coming and getting you, huh? Yeah. What does your dad do here in Las Vegas? Um, he works for a second company. He's one of them psychic people. He's a psychic? Um, <laughs> no. Oh, is, it, is he really psychic or does he just pretend to be? Pretend. <laughs> like all the other psychics. All, all, all it is is your um, horoscope. Uh -huh. Put in different words. I think it's a bunch of bullcrap. <laughs> well, what do you think about people that call up and spend their money on it? I think that they're kind of mentally challenged. Well, what do you think about your dad, you know, doing that? I, I think that he's making money easy. It's better to get the money and, and let them suffer because he told them their future, which is just their horoscope. Mm -hmm. I don't get that psychic crap. So how about your mom? What does she do? I don't live with my mom. Uh, where does she live with? In Oklahoma. So when did your parents get divorced? Um, about two years, two, three years ago. Do you know why? Not really. They don't like him, that's why. <laughs> oh, it was his fault? Yeah. Oh, okay. No, it wasn't. Hey, he's a bad boy. He's a bad boy. <laughs> it wasn't my fault. No? It was my brother's. It was my fault my brother had to shoot himself. But right, right in the leg. Right. He shot himself in the leg. <laughs> With what? With the 38, I think. How old was he? Oh, uh, he's 14. He shot himself um, from a parent's back door. Did he do it because he was so unhappy? Uh, yeah, I think. Wow. <laughs> where did he get the 38 from? My dad's safe. And where did he shoot himself in the leg at? Um, about an inch away from the crotch. I thought it was kind of funny, though. Yeah? Did an ambulance come? Yeah. I was like, yes. No more brother picking on me. Woo and, and how is your brother now? Fine. He just likes picking on people more. Well, what does he do? He takes his fist and starts beating me up. But my dad's kind of screwed up. He looks in magazines. 
what, what do you mean? Right after you get the boy. That, well, that's what he did to find my stepmom. Ooh, that looks like a nice person. What kind of magazine? Look, he looks like a dating magazine. Dating magazine. Dating magazine. <laughs> yeah, all, all, all the people that look like bitches. So he found your stepmom in a magazine? Yep. <laughs> and then her and my dad got married in Texas. And, and then the, and the bitch decided to drag my dad out here. Have they already split up or are they together? Uh, they're splitting up. That's the best part about it. That's the best part about it. How does she treat you? She treats me like I'm a bastard. That's, a, that, that's how come I treat her, her son, like he's a bastard, because he is. How is that? How is he? Um, boy, I think. Mm -hmm. If I get picked on, I, could, I deserve to pick on somebody. The younger you are, the more you get picked on. Does the stepmother pick on you? Better believe it. She bit me on my wrist. Your stepmom? Yeah, I pulled the bitch's hair out, too. But, <laughs> She decided to piss me off, so, so I took my hand on her hair, and I pulled out a lot of hair when she bit me. So why did you guys get in that fight in the first place? Because she started calling me a fucking bastard. Oh, shut the fuck up, bitch. What? Did she call you a bastard for no reason? Yeah. And then after that, I took a shit in the toilet, and I stuck my stepbrother's head in it. Gave Her? him a swirly. So what did he do? Hey, after I did it, he, he, went, he went to mommy and he shook his head at her. <laughs> Got the dookie water on her. <laughs> that was funny. Did he tell on you? No. Oh. I, I said if he told, I'd cut out his head as apple. So she left your dad, huh? Better believe it. Well. I'm glad that bitch left, too. So what do you want your dad to do? You want him to, to be alone or do you want him to find a, a new stepmom? If he finds a stepmom, it better be to my liking. Okay. <laughs> ridiculous thing I've ever gone through in my life. That's but, right. Where are you going? Uh, Swinton and Twain. Okay. Tell me what happened. Uh, I get pulled over, okay, and they say, hey, your taxi does it. I've been in town for approximately a month. Oh, but after three weeks, you got to go through Nevada and all this. I said, well, hold up. Then they're trying to arrest me saying that this, this warrant, I said, man, that thing has been taken care of way in the past. I don't know what in the hell this is all about. They don't want to hear it. Your, your truck's being towed, and you're going to jail, period. So I get down there, finally, after, God, I've been here since yesterday, 3 o'clock in the afternoon, before they finally come up to me and say, all right, we're going to release you because it's come back in the computer, this, that, and the other. I said, well, what about my truck? Oh, that's up to you. you know, I just mean, people, you have no idea what you've done. What? You, they wouldn't even let me see a judge. What was the warrant for? This was an old traffic ticket from way back. And that boy's already done squashed that thing a long time ago and paid it in full. I mean, no matter what I tried to say to these two officers, they weren't going to listen to me. And all I was doing is running down the road to go get something to eat. <laughs> I, Ma'am, I tell you, I, I just felt like I went through the twilight zone. And no one was hearing me. Were you scared when you were locked up? Hell yeah, I don't say nothing. I'm trying to, you know, just I just got as close as I could to a corner area and just basically just sat there. They put the air condition on, blasting. I'm serious, I'm sitting here like this all night just freezing. I'm saying, can I get a shirt, can I get a... No, nothing, you don't get shit. You sound like you've been having a string of bad luck over there. <laughs> now I'm out of here for... for my father, I don't really know him, okay? I'm out here visiting him briefly. He, uh, my, I have two brothers that just, one to die that liver problems, and the one visiting him at the hospital, he went to go visit him. On the way back with my mother, they got into a car accident, he was killed. Um, then they, when they were patching my mom up, they found cancer, and she's been going downhill ever since. 
So my father, he gets wind of this and says, why don't you stop here in, in Las Vegas and visit for a while? And I'm going, I, you know, I don't even, and you're a complete stranger practically. Well, you know, I want to keep an eye on you. Things are, you know, I hear you're pretty stressed out, this, that, and the other. I says, well, you know, it, it, did it take the death of half my family before you finally stepped in and say, you want to see me now? You know, I mean, what the hell is this? You've never paid two cents worth of attention to me and mom all these years. When did your father leave? Oh, when I was just a little baby. Uh -huh. How come you never saw him? I, he dead beat dad, man. What happened to your brother, oh. the one who died? Once his kidneys gave out, they, we had a phone call. And the second day they're there visiting my brothers, when they, my, my brother Bobby got into an accident. It was like a hundred plus mile an hour impact. It practically decapitated my brother. And my mom was like, they, they don't even know how she lived through that. And she had all these stitches, broken ribs, broken knees. Oh my God. So she lost two brothers? Two brothers and, and, um, your mother is and my mother is just, I don't know how long I'm hoping. So your father, mm -hmm. have you developed any relationship with him? You haven't. I have two younger sisters out here, I found out, and I'm not allowed to meet him. He's, uh, he's an attorney out here, and he treats me like absolute shit. He married then, again? Yeah, he married again, and, you know, his wife doesn't even know I exist. My grandparents don't even know I exist. But have you seen him at all? He's running around. He's, I'm just real busy. I'm real busy. What? You know, why did you ask me to come out here, and you're not, you haven't spent one fucking day with me? Not one day, and nor do you let me see my sisters and to let them know that they don't even know they have an older brother. They don't even know they have a brother, let alone anything else. You Why know? won't he let you see them? Because he doesn't know how to fucking tell his wife that he's, that he's a human being and, and screwed up, or whatever you want to call my birth. Your father should be, be very proud of having a son like you. Why would he want to hide you? I don't know. I've, it's, I've been in tears trying to figure that out, man. Did you ever ask him? Oh, yeah. He just, he gets up, he goes, I can't talk. You just don't, you don't understand my fucking life. You don't. How dare you come in? Why can't I be invited over to the house? You know? So, I mean, this is just this whole horrendous snowball of just absolute insaneness that's just overwhelmed me. And I just, I look up in the sky and go, God, you know, what is going on here? You know, I don't get it. <laughs> how, how does it feel knowing your father is kind of hiding you away? It makes me feel like, you know, what am I, and uh, in some inhuman thing, you know, you know, like the elephant man, you know, I'm not an animal, I'm a human being. I mean, what have I done to you? I've, you haven't even been a part of my life, so how can you say I did anything to you? I haven't spent one day with the man, not one whole day. I think when he, when, I think the most I ever spent is when we went to a, a Burger King and got a hamburger. And that was like about a half hour's worth of just small talk. And, well, I got to go and, uh, you know. How do you feel towards him? I uh, resentful, mad, and yet all of that on top of it just gets overwhelmed by just heartbreaking. And I've just lost, you know, two of my brothers and me and my mom, and all this stuff is going on, and I don't. You must feel very lonely right now. Oh, very. I don't. I could use a friend. Let me tell you, I really could. Very good. And if I wasn't? I wouldn't get in. <laughs> good answer. So how has your evening been? Ah, uh, all right. Then go and meet my friends. What are you ladies doing? I actually had to work, so I went out after work. Of what course. do you do for a living? I drive a car. That's it? No. Okay. What do you do? I am a financial advisor by oh, day. I was a registered sales assistant for 25 years. That's good. I worked for Oppenheimer for 17 years. Mm -hmm. um, I went to work for Deutsche Bank. And then with the Trade Center, we worked right across the street. Yeah, I recall. I had enough. So I was... ran from the bombs in 93, the planes, no more. I never went back to Wall Street after that. Were you there that day? 
Yeah. Yeah, it was. I don't even want to think about it. It was horrible. I don't even really want to think about it. Still affects you? Yeah, it does. It okay. was very frightening. It was terrible to be there. It was terrible. Did you lose anyone? I lost a lot of friends. Both people that worked in the industry and firemen that I knew. My God. I went to, I Very can't sorry. tell you how many memorials. After about 20 of them, I lost count. And I never went to step foot in Manhattan after that. Never went back. You're kidding. I had enough. You know, you work under a lot of pressure every day. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I did that because I had two kids to raise. And I did it. And I did it well. Most people only exist. 12 to 15 years on Wall Street. I went 25 because I had no choice. So you never stepped foot in Manhattan again? No, I had enough. I will never go back to Manhattan. I do what I can on my own. I'm blown I away by never, this. Ever, You'll ever, never, ever, ever, ever go back to Manhattan. Never, never, never. I mean, I'm, I watched a second plane come in and hit the building. I watched it hit right into it. And I looked across the harbor, and I'm like, oh, my God, that plane is flying so low as the building, the other building is on fire. And all of a sudden, it was like you could see the pilot's face. And I was like, oh, my God. And then it hit. And I was like, holy shit. Then you knew you were under attack. Mm -hmm. So I'm thinking to myself, oh, my God, every building is going to blow up. Mm -hmm. as I'm running. So I ran along the west side. I took my shoes off. I ran right to the ferry. And I remember holding the rail, and it was rumbling, almost like an earthquake. Mm -hmm. And I said to the man, oh, my God, I got to jump off. I thought, like, there were bombs under the water. Mm -hmm. And the man just grabbed my arm as I'm holding it. Mm -hmm. And he said, no, the building is falling down. And when I looked, it actually just disintegrated. And when I got over to Staten Island, the whole time I must have been holding the rails like this, mm -hmm. my hands were all cut in hair from my nails. That I oh must God. have been digging from my nerves and just not realizing it. Sure. Oh my God, never again. Never again will I go into Manhattan. Never, ever, ever, ever again. Never again. Well, what do you nothing. think would actually happen if you uh, stepped foot in Manhattan? I don't know. I don't want to go back. That's it. I don't think what would happen. That's it. I had enough. Right. Okay. For weeks, these guys. All right. For weeks. You see these fire trucks? I, I would come out. I, would, I couldn't sleep. I'd go out at 5, 5.30, walking my dog. These guys were pulling up in their trucks because they were at the site. And you could smell the death. Oh, my God, it was horrible. What did that smell like? Oh, my God, could you imagine all those bodies just smoldering? Uh, I have friends at it. They didn't even find, for three months, they didn't find body parts. To ID them. And they found them? After about three months, yeah, four months, they found something to ID them. A leg, an arm. Oh my God. It was terrible. I, I just, I don't know why you got me talking about this. I'm sorry, I can't imagine. I really don't. I, I've never talked about this. Why do you have me talking about this shit? You never told me what you told your kids. I just, I don't know. Do I tell them to be afraid? to give in to that fear like I do? No. You never give in to fear. You never give in to fear. What do you do? I don't care. That's what I do. I know I'm wrong, but I don't want to go back. I don't want to do it anymore. I've done it. I don't want to. After the bomb, I went back. I don't need to. I've had enough. I just don't want to go back. 
Somebody on 19th Street. What's the address? I don't know. It's my cousin. He's right across from the park. And then I'm gonna go to 65th and First Avenue in Manhattan. I was waiting a fucking long time. I'm gonna kill that fucking dispatcher, whoever he is. Why are you in such a rush? Because I have to fucking kill somebody tonight. So who's the unlucky person you're killing? My boyfriend. <sighs> He's dead. What did he do that was so bad? Uh, look. We have, like, a lot of problems in our relationship. We've been going out for, like, two years. And we have, like, he does a lot of fucking fucked up shit to me. And tonight, if I catch him out there with another girl, I'm gonna fucking kill him. I'm gonna rape him. Anyway, it's a long story. But to make a long story short, he's done a lot of fucked up shit to me. I hate fucking men. They all suck. Well, all men suck. Relationships suck. I should have broke up with that fuck a long time ago after what he put me through. Why are you with him if he's driving you nuts like this? Are you kidding no, me? I love him. That's why. <laughs> you love him? What is he doing? Was he cheating on you? I know he is. Because he's been getting these fucking beeps on his beeper. Let's go to bed, 69. All this fucking shit. And he's going to tell me he's not cheating on me? All right, wait, wait, wait. Stop, stop. Beep. Right here? Yeah, beep, beep, beep. Beep, 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 beep. Yo. Hey, you just cut my conversation so short. Who are you talking to? Never mind. I have to fucking find him. Yeah. What are you gonna do with him? Yeah, guy? you see. You'll see. <laughs> I'll see. I'm like tiny in colors right now. I can't believe this. Well, we're gonna go pick up Maria right now. I told her to have a cheeseburger deluxe waiting for me because I'm fucking starving. I'm so revved. After all the shit he's put me through, he's fucking dead. I'm gonna take him and I'm, I'm gonna fucking, if he's with that bitch, you don't understand. Which I'm gonna bitch? rape her. I'm gonna fucking stick a knife up her fucking ass. Watch, watch. Which one? Yeah, which one? <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? I'm such an asshole, Becky. Why do I get myself involved in these things? I don't I know. I swear. I don't know. I fucking love him to death. They push me through this shit and. All men are like that. I know, I hate fucking men, that's it. I'm gonna go in there and I know he's gonna be there because he's always upstairs at the bar. Really? Yeah, and I know he's gonna be with her. I fucking know it. And I'm gonna I'm gonna catch him out there so lovely. I'm just gonna take a class, I'm gonna fucking throw it in his face. <sighs> okay. I'm yeah. just so fucking pissed off, Becky. Alright. <sighs> you'll get there. I'm gonna tell the cops everything from A to Z, everything, and then I'm just gonna leave. I'm gonna break out of the country. <laughs> Where are you gonna, gonna go? go? I'm gonna go to Greece. So he doesn't fucking kill me, really kill me this time, not like before, almost. This time he will. You know I'm sleeping with that guy. You get out of here! Yeah. Are you nuts? He's good. What are you stupid? He's fucking good. Yeah. I don't care. I know he's doing it to me, so fuck him. How are you in love with somebody if they hurt you all the time? If you don't mind me asking, I mean... Uh... That's a tough question. That is a tough question. I've grown to hate this person after what the fuck he's put me through. Do you understand? You just told me you loved him. I know, but I, you know, I'm more confused in the fucking head. But I, I, like, you know, if I catch him out there tonight, I know it's gonna hurt me like crazy. But I'm still gonna fucking do what I gotta do to him. And I know tomorrow he's gonna do what he has to do to me, and he might fucking kill me this time. You know? Like last time, he does crazy shit. He takes fucking guns, and forget it. I'm not even gonna get into it. Forget it. Just forget it. Forget it. What happened? I was gone. Are you kidding me? Fuck it, it's a whole long story. You're gonna tell me this guy pointed a gun at you? 
Nah, you did other things with it. <laughs> I don't know. What else do you do with a gun? Forget it. It's just long story. Guns, knives, drugs. It's fucking a crazy shit out there in New York, I'm telling you. I can't wait to get the fuck out of this city. You must have done something to a man, friend. You know, Me? Treat you like that. I'm no, the nicest girl in the world. Right. Sure, I play his ass left and right, but hey. You know, woman's got to do what she's got to do. You find a nice piece of ass, you got to go after it. So he caught you cheating, you trying to say? Uh, a lot of times, but I caught him cheating a lot of times, too. But if he's with this one fucking girl tonight, we're going to just oh, beat no. the fuck out of each he's other. He's going to kill her. Mm-hmm. I'm going to beat the shit out of him. He's going to beat the shit out of me. He's and then I'm probably going to be dead tomorrow. <laughs> Thank you. What am I going to do? I don't know. So this ain't the first time he's fucking around yeah. around your back? He's not the first time he's fucked around, it's not the first time he's done what he's done. It's not the first time he's beat the fuck out of me with his fucking... Anyway, never mind. Why, he beat, beat you back? Not to, you know, I don't know, I don't know. Not hospital bed, right? Twice. How bad did he beat you? What did he do to you? Like, you had to go to the hospital. Would you break teeth? What'd you do? <laughs> he broke a couple bones with the gun. The butt? With the gun, yeah. But... It's all right. He's got his share. I shot him once, but I you shot, shot him, him. <laughs> in the arm. <laughs> you shot him with a gun. Yeah, my father's gun. I took that rifle and I shot him. He was in my house and he was trying to force himself in so he could fucking get to me, and I shot him in the arm. You shot him in the arm. He's gonna call the cops. <laughs> don't worry. Why are you feeding it? Just like, you know, you don't know me, I don't know you, you don't know where you picked me up from tonight, you know, that's it. That's the way it goes. Cap. How you All feeling? Right. Now, you're not going to get violent. Behave yourself, right? I heard you slap the cab driver. Is this true? I would never slap a cab driver in my life. I wouldn't even slap a dog. Okay, my kind of guy. Come on in. <coughs> I didn't expect a woman. No. Do I try to say the same thing as I would if you were a man? Absolutely. Whatever okay. makes you happy. Okay. Your team pretty cool. Okay. Are you cool? I'm cool as could be. Have you ever smoked marijuana? I have, yes. Okay. Did it get you stoned? No, it never did, no. Oh. Okay. Where are we headed? I'm supposed to tell this to you. We got to tell me where Okay. To... I want to pick up a crack whore. I can look at her pussy. Oh. And where the whore's hanging out. Can you drop me off there and then just let me be on my own? <laughs> let me think. Because uh... I do like that. Oh, my word. <laughs> you are a rarity. Just, no, fuck tell... you. Okay. Listen, I'm not a rarity. No, I'm you just are. A um... Believable. You are what? Believable. <laughs> you are believable. I would yeah, say that. Fuck that. Are you having fun tonight? Well, I'm just passing through. Thank you. Uh huh. See, my mom left me a lot of money now. Your mother did? Yeah. Thank God bless her. But not just in stiff and <laughs> because I'm a drunk in the well, fuck off. She she wouldn't give me all of it in one. Did she pass away your mother? Or she... Yes, she did. Okay. She died. I'm, of, I'm sorry to hear I'm, that. It's hard. I have nobody. No brothers, now. sisters? Well, I got an older brother, but he's a prick. <laughs> what do you drink for? What do you want me to start? Well, tell me. Well, I'm 51 years old now, by I, the way. You're 51, and yeah, you still I'm do this? a baby boomer. A baby boomer, a, a flower baby child. boomer. Well, what have you been doing since the 70s? Um, I shaved up a little bit. I play a lot of golf. <laughs> you play golf? Oh, fuck you, listen. I'm trying to do the best I fucking can here. Okay, how about a My wife? My mother just died 
take the lease. He goes, you left me a bale of money. And what are you going to do with all this money? I'm going to go out and spend it, if you don't mind. Okay. Okay. Now, why are you... All we... right. Okay. I, I just do uh, about anything I want. All uh, right. And play... I'm doing it. And you can play a lot of golf? Uh, tons of fucking golf. Right. Tons of fucking and golf. And you'll never partner. have to work again? Never have to work again. Now, why are we looking... Thank God for that! Why do you want I me... I worked my little fucking ass off uh -huh. since I've been about eight years fucking old. You know what? And I worked... Uh -huh. You just and have to... I'm tired of fucking working! What kind of work did you do? Kissing tourist asses. Really? In the hotels? In the hotels, in the fucking bed. Good morning, Mr. Jones. How are you this morning? You want your orange juice, you motherfucker? I know how you feel because basically I do the same thing. Um, I'm free, ma'am. So it must be tough now getting over your mother's death. Oh, it's killing me. Yeah. It's killing me. I can imagine. I feel bad. I don't know what to do. I'm just, I just. Kind of just drive. Uh huh. Not do good. anything stupid. You know, like drive myself or anything. Were like you that. very close with her when you were growing oh, up? Geez. I was lived with her. Up until the end? Up until the end. And, you know, she put her arms around me and she said, I want to die. I want to die. She was so old. 89. God damn, that's up there. I think you were very lucky to have each other for so long. When you think about it, you had a good relationship? Yes. I was a spoiled brat. Oh, yeah? In what way? You get everything I want. Really? She gave you everything? Everything I want. And it's just you and your brother? Yeah. Older. Now he's in charge of all my money. How come he's in charge of your Cause money? Because I'm drunk. Oh, I, I see. Did you get to say goodbye to her before she actually passed away? Of course, away? yeah. I was the only one. Your brother wasn't there? Nah, my fucking older brother wasn't there. And I was the only one there. He has all the money and everything. And I was the only one there that took care of her. It doesn't seem fair somehow. Man, it's not fair. I should have all the money. How do you think you're going to deal with it in the weeks to come? You're drunk. It's, uh, it's unfortunate about your mother. Well, God, a mother's a mother. She, the reason she's I the one to raise me. All you mothers are alike. Well, it's a damn loving. I have children of my and own. And so never, right. you'll never lose that instinct. No, you're right. Here's you'll something. never lose it. Uh, I feel bad about your mother. And yeah, I'm still grieving. I'm sure you are. Life. I can and, see that. And Believe me, I can see that. I don't know what kind of emotions you're gonna. They come from day to day. I, I get pissed off sometimes. I go, God, and then sometimes I just cry alligator tears. I miss her so much. I know you do. But it's uh, awful. I'm sure it is. Nobody should be going through anything like that. Uh, I know that. But you'll see, as time goes by, it'll get better. It'll get a little easier for you. Well, if uh, anything else, I could tell you this. That well, tell me where I get the crack whores and the low life. <laughs> Hi. How are you doing? You're walking out with their, uh... Oh, they give me a shirt. I was a patient there. What happened to you that you went to the hospital? Uh, oh, I had some chest pain. Uh-huh. How did you get here? Did you take a, a taxi? Yeah. Uh -huh. I, oh, I don't know how I got here. I was, uh... I was kind of mixed up in uh, Why kind of... were you mixed up? What happened? I'm old age. Hell, I'm 80 years old. You're 80? Yeah. You just get, uh, you get kind of goofy, you know. Where'd you come from originally? <clears throat> I was born in Texas. Uh-huh. Went to Spain when I was a kid. And got put in jail there. You went to jail? Yeah, you spent I, went, what? I went over there to fly those airplanes, you know, during, that, uh, during the revolution. I was 16, you know. Well, what war was this? That was Spanish War. The Spanish? Yeah, that was Franco. They captured you? 
Yes, some of them said shoot him, some of them said no, 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 get money, money for him. <laughs> Are you serious? Serious as hell. Would you shooting people from the air? Sure. How did you feel when this was going on, shooting back? Oh, they tickled to death. Yeah. Why? We, we didn't have any uh, real animosity or hate for him. We just loved to fly those planes. Uh -huh. I'm looking familiar here now. Uh, I still, uh, we gotta go pay some lamb. I'll know it. Right. You know where it is, don't you? Yeah, I oh. do. Were you shot down? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I went down a couple times. What was going through your mind when the plane was going down? You, like you lost your engine? Nothing but exhilaration, you know? We just said, well, we're going to I'm going to be lucky. And I was, but I lost one of my good friends, Carl mm -hmm. Kelly. I'll never forget him. Who and was he was uh, He was about four times better than I was in an airplane. How did he die? Got shot down. Were well, you ever scared when you flew? Not uh, to where you'd wet your pants. You know, right. to speak, uh, so to speak, but it's a natural. If you didn't have fear, you wouldn't have, uh, you wouldn't have any sense. And I, I we, we take a, let's see, I'll get a landmark here. Ah, yeah. uh, I'll find you a landmark. See, here's, here's, here's what, here's what gets to you. You got a buddy, right. and he's twice as good as you are, and you know it, and he knows it. He won't say it, but I will say it. We, we lost people that were more skilled, mm -hmm. and I made it. Did you ever get married? Yeah, you, you, three times. <laughs> you got married three times? Tell three me. Three or four times. <laughs> three I, or I four? I think four times. Four? You must have been some ladies' man. Well, no. I, I, was, I was way down on the bottom and all these guys, these fast guys. I don't think so. Do you remember which one was your best marriage? The one I got now, I guess. You think? So? Yeah, she yeah. was. Uh, she's uh, she's sick now, and right. she's not gonna make it. And she's out in her uh, What's son's house you? because he's got a big mansion out here, and he's got no help to take care of it. I'm remember? gonna I'm gonna lose her, I'm sure, before I go. How old is she? She's about 84. It's, uh, there's no way she can make it not with her age. Yeah. And it's, uh, it's sad, I think about it every day, but it's, uh, it's inevitable. She was such a good woman, such an honest woman, sincere, and I never saw one that had the good will and everything that Mary had. See that green sign there? Yes. That's me. There's my light. Hold over the curtain. You know, it's sure been a pleasure to let you pick me up because you really did make me feel better, you know. I'm glad I did. I'm not uh, sad to the point of tears or anything, but I mean, uh, just not in a very uh, uh, salacious or uh, happy mood, you know. Well, and just, uh, but you brightened my day. <laughs> You're yeah. very sweet. You're sweet, too. <laughs> Gotta be quick. How you guys doing? Good. How are you? I'm great. Good. Where can I take you? Honey, where do you want to go? Um, do you what do you recommend for another bar? Another, another bar? bar? Good one. Good um, dance club. A good dance club? Yeah. Oh, I think you ought to go to the beach. Okay. Okay. Sounds good. So how was the inferno? <laughs> Not happening. <laughs> it was gay. <laughs> so you wanted more women? No. Yes, She's yeah. just kidding. I like women. She does. I did. They're not since I've met you, though. Uh, so, do you like women in a bisexual sort of way? Um, I hate to label it. You know, I've, I've been, I had a relationship for a long time with a woman, but I met him and I, I'm totally crazy about him. I just couldn't see myself with a woman for the rest of my life. Did it take some getting used to to be with a man after you've been with a woman? You just do different things. She's really butch. I like butch women. Okay. She was a take charge woman? Yeah, but so am I. Okay. But she liked to wear a little strap on. Cool. <laughs> it's, it's a lot easier emotionally to be with a man. Uh, we messed up pretty big last night myself. <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. We were at a show and um, I walked out on her. There's um, an age difference between us by 15 years. Guess how old she is? 
If I guess wrong, I'll be in trouble. That's all right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. 35. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Do I look 35? So what were you guys fighting about? His parents um, aren't accepting of him. Yeah, what if you were a parent and you had a kid that was 20 and seen a 35-year-old? How would you treat that? I would give them encouragement. How do they treat you? Yeah, see, they, they don't. They don't. I don't know, my mom didn't really want... Me to call there. Yeah. I'm not allowed to call there. That sounds like a very controlling woman. Exactly. Yeah. She just raised five boys. She gives a lot of heart. She gives us a lot of respect. She's not really respecting me, though. Yeah. I wish they'd give me a chance. So tell me, where'd you two meet? He worked at the grocery store, and I had been talking to him for about, what, a year? Who asked who out first? I did. And? The rest is history. The rest is history. Did she, did she seduce you? Very much so. <laughs> Very much so. She corrupted me. You know what we did in the um, elevator of Caesar's Palace last night? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Were you alone or were there spectators? Uh-uh. There's one spectator. He came in. Yeah, popped he popped in. up spontaneously. So how did you do it? Did you get undressed? No, well, I never learned. wear underwear. So I just um, put my legs up on the bar of the elevator thing. I just unzipped my zipper. <laughs> And, uh, and someone walked in? Yeah, actually, the door was open. And so she dropped down to the floor and I had to zip up my pants. Almost catch her by a giggly. Were you, by still zipper. In, were you still inside her when somebody walked in? Yeah, of course. <laughs> the door dig. The, the bell rang. And all of a sudden, we just all, oh, shit. So tell me, man, what was it like the first night she seduced you? Oh, jeez. Stayed up till five in the morning on Mother's Day. It's cool. I like talking to the cat. This is like my dream. I know. <laughs> okay. Um. I jumped on top of you. Yeah, definitely like that. I like her on top. So you're a take charge woman, huh? Definitely. Cool. But I take charge as well. You do. I make her take charge. You do. She came up with an idea of uh, making a list. Fifty places. 50 spots where they really want to... And wanna... the taxi cab was one of them. Yeah. <laughs> what else is on the list? Elevator, we did that. Um, yeah. The airplane. Yeah. I want to give him a blowjob, like, in front of everybody, like, with my head under the blanket. <laughs> you two seem very much in love. We are. We are in love. Very much so. I love you. I love you, too. I used to live here. And I was married for a year. What was that like? That was great. He died. He died in a motorcycle accident. Wow. Were you still very much in love when he died? Yeah. His best friend uh, came to my door. Because he didn't come home, and it was very unlike him, because he was always there. How did he tell you? He just said, Ellie Ricky died. Just like that? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> I didn't believe him at first. <laughs> and I just cried. I cried for a long time. And it was just uncomprehensible that someone could be taken from your life so quickly. And that's why I just live for today. You're still afraid? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, I think I am a little bit, huh? She very much is afraid. She's scared of you, you leaving her or of you dying? No, I don't know about dying, but just scared of leaving. 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 Because I'm 20. Dying is out of my control, but leaving me, yeah. How you doing tonight? Not so good, huh? I'll be better tomorrow. You sure? Yeah. When you get home, you're going to call him? No. How come? No, I'm not going to call He's him. got a great body. <laughs> I could see in that muscle shirt. Oh, it's not the most important thing. Well, it doesn't hurt. No, it helps, true. What else? He must be something or you wouldn't be with him. I was with him for three years, but... And this is it tonight, Splitsville? 
No, it's been Splitsville for a while, for a couple of months. You're not going to give him another shot? No. Was it around another woman? Yeah. Uh-oh. I caught them together. Oh, no. Yeah. Oh. What did he do? Um... Well, I actually just, I saw them through the window. Where? Yeah. Um, through the fire escape. You were on the fire escape? Well, I was on his roof because I went over to his house one night unexpectedly and I heard voices and I went up on his roof and, oh. and I went down the fire escape. Oh, my I goodness. So I didn't want to walk in and I didn't want to create a really ugly situation. Did you watch? I mean, I watched, but I didn't like watch because I wanted to. I was just really in such a shock. Yeah, huh? I was paralyzed. I wasn't able to move, talk, do anything. Oh, that's it's terrible. such an awful experience, you yeah. know. Like I always thought that this is what happens to other people. You right. know, I hear my friends tell me stories, and, and I'm always like, oh, that would never happen to me. So you had the key to his place? Yeah. And what happened? You called him and he didn't answer? He didn't know. He didn't pick up the phone. And I thought it was so strange because he usually calls me before he goes to sleep or I call him. And I knew that he would be at home. It was That was very stupid of him if he wanted what? to hide it. What time was it? 11. Uh-huh. And then um, around 12.30 I was at home and I called him and I was like, where have you been? And he's like, oh, you know, he's like, I fell asleep. And he's like, I went out to get a chocolate bar. And I was like, yeah, a chocolate bar is, is good after sex. What did he say? And, um, and he's like, what are you talking about? And I was like, nothing. I'm like, I, I just, you know, I just know that when you eat chocolate after sex, it's good. Whoa. And then he started crying, and he was like, I feel like something's wrong. And I was like, no, nothing's wrong. So he knew you had I busted him. I said, do me a favor. I said, when you go to sleep, I was like, think of one thing. And he was like, what? I was like, ask yourself a question. What kind of a human being are you, and how did you become to be somebody that you hated all along? You know, because he always hated, you know, guys or girls who cheat. And he always had a, pr he always, like, he never trusted me. Whenever I went out, like, it was always such a big deal. Oh, did you get a phone number? Did somebody try to pick you up? So let me get this straight. You went up to the roof and climbed down the fire escape? Yes. Isn't that risking your life? No, I mean, it's not a really, you know, it's a safe roof and stuff. Huh. It wasn't all that bad. How long did you stay there? Until they were over. <sighs> What were you I wanted feeling to see if he, was if he was using a condom at least. Uh-huh, was he? Yeah. My God, what, what must have been going on for you when you were watching? I have no idea. I mean, I was just in a shock. I couldn't move. I just hate him. So He's what, an asshole. What made you decide to give him another chance? I didn't give him another chance. He just wanted to talk to me. Oh, Just I give see. me back a five. What did, what did he say when, when you tried to talk to him about it? Oh, the crying and I'm sorry it was a mistake and I'll never do it again and all that other crap. Uh-huh. So what, did, and what you did you say? I said spare me all that. I said once a cheat, always a cheat. What did he say? I said that's not true. People are entitled to mistakes. Did you know the person he was with? The secretary from his job. <gasps> she was a 21 year old who, who had a three year old kid. <gasps> Never, no college education, no life, nothing. I was like, at least if you cheated on, with, you know, on me with somebody who was a lot better than I am. I'm like, I, you know, there's like, ah, oh, cannot believe that he chose to cheat on me with like such a bimbo. Well, who would you want him to cheat on you? Somebody with? who was at least better than I. Oh, you know, that I wouldn't mind. Somebody who was more beautiful or more or smarter, with you know, a better career, better education, who earns more money, but not with a three-year-old kid ever since she was 18. Hi, thank you for stopping. Oh, you're welcome. Where are you guys going? We are going to 47th and 8th Avenue. 47th and 8th, right? Yes. Okay. So how's your night been? Cool. You know, trying to get a cab is kind of difficult sometimes for the black folks. Why? Oh. Oh, you, I it sit is. in the middle of the street. Yeah, it's this In guy. the middle of the street. And this guy's like looking at me just driving. You know, you go out and you work hard for your money. Right. And it doesn't seem to matter. It makes me think, what the fuck? So I'm almost like about to cry. I'm serious. It makes me so angry because for my hard-earned money, when I want to take a cab, I know it sounds like I'm crazy, but I and really I'm mean that. You. At I'm the end of the day, I'm, I'm paying, paying you. you. For, I'm, you know what I mean? Like, I'm paying you for the service. Don't get me started. You, get Arthur, get do not, you know how I feel about this. Do not get me started. It's, really, it's just amazing. It is so sad. Are you two a couple? 
No, no. we're not. We're good friends. friends. My best friend. That's nice. How'd you guys meet? Doing a show. We did a show together in Europe. What kind of show? A, a musical? Theater. 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 We, do, we both do the same thing. Singer dance officers. Mm -hmm. I had a really embarrassing situation. I don't even know if I told you about this. I was so embarrassed by this. I, I tour with a show, and we were in Keene, New Hampshire this year. I'm the only black, black person. person. Only one. We're in Keene, New Hampshire. We stayed in this hotel for two nights. On the second night, as we're coming back from the show, the woman at the front desk called the police because she thought I looked like someone on the most wanted list. <laughs> <laughs> and you have to know that he is like the so most like non-criminal black person. That's why I don't understand. So like, I was look with at you. I was with what two, is threatening about you? I was with two co-workers <laughs> and we were going to go to Applebee's to have a drink. And we walk out of a hotel and four cop cars surround us. Surround us. Tell me, show me show them my hands show what? them my hands over and over again show me your hands then they wanted me to get my id i told them i said listen i'm not stupid i see what happens <laughs> <laughs> you can reach in my pocket you can reach your in ass, my pocket yourself and your grab my id like ronnie king you would be like damn they beat my ass <laughs> they, and they, they got my id out looked at my id ran my new york state driver's oh license my God and realize I'm not the person that they're looking for. Now, mind you, I am embarrassed, <laughs> like mortified. Like I've never so much as stolen gum from the grocery store. Yeah. And here I'm all but being arrested. And they indicated that it was a woman from the front desk. Oh my God. And yeah. I'm a, a, a guest in your hotel. You have all of my information. We get off of a tour bus. Yeah. You know what I mean? We get off of a tour bus. Do you think there's some criminal roaming around the United States doing musical theater? <laughs> oh my God! I'm a classical singer! An opera singer! I'm like, a classical you know singer. singer! So I went back to my room, I cried for a little while because, you know, I really was really upset. Not only was I upset and traumatized, but I was just embarrassed. Don't, do you get angry? Do you want to say something? You don't want those things to be in the forefront of your mind every time you get into a taxi, every time you walk into a store, every time you meet someone. Are they looking at me and saying, oh my gosh, I'm meeting a black person? Or are they looking at me and saying, I'm meeting a very nice person? You know, people are people. Color is what it is. Once you become an adult, you really realize, wow. The impact that those things have. Hopefully, I don't know. I'm trying to be hopeful, maybe People, I think, rather than being attracted to black men, they kind of like fetishize. Like it becomes a fetish. For oh, yeah. white guys. Mm -hmm. Some people kind of fantasize black men. They like the thought that, you know, that most black men are really well hung. That's what's out there. And that's okay, what. Okay, you're saying what's That's the expectation that okay. we are to live up to. Like online, you know, like it always comes up like, well, how hung are you? Like, is this after they know you're black? They're putting it right out there. I'm I looking never, for well-endowed black men, done that. nine inches plus. I've never done that. I've never been like, I'm looking for a Cambodian man, <laughs> eight plus, cut, you know, with a, Look, with hell, a big was, ball sack. I mean, I'm just happy if I find a man who's employed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the truth. But I have to admit, I'm really sensitive about that. Like when people say stuff to me. What do you mean exactly? You know I mean? Like if you mess around with somebody, like, oh yeah, let me suck that nigga dick. I think that's like Like, high. you think a white guy would say that? No, it has. Uh, uh, it, the, the, a white guy has said that. Yeah. Darling, there are whole, there are whole factions of people. That, that's what they get off on. There's a definite power balance that's going on here. Because when that's said, that means that you're going to slap them around. You know what I mean? Or they're either, you're going to slap them around or they're going to slap you around. But it's clearly defining that we are two it's people that are not equals. Equals, yeah. We are not equals. Oh my God. One of, one it's of us. Deep. It's all right. That's, that's my one two of us words. is definitely it's lesser deep. than the other. And in my situation, I kind of like when it was happening, when it was in the act, when it was said, I was kind of like, uh, ex excuse me. And he's like, who uh, said it uh, to you? Who said the person it? who I was having sex with. He was just like, oh, you know, yeah, yeah, you know, give me that nigga dick. I was like, uh, yeah. like he is with me because he wants some nigga dick. It turned me off. 
completely right then and there. Mm -hmm. But I still came on him, so it's all right. <laughs> How you doing? Hi. Listen, I have to go to Bari. I've got a couple of dollars in change. Where are you going? Uh, CBGB's. You know the Bari? Sure, I know CBGB's. Thank you. Thanks very much. No problem. So what's going on? Nothing. I'm trying to kick this fucking cocaine habit, and it's just killing me, man. Why can't you quit? Between the money and the and the coke, I, I want to quit. I want to stop, and then I fight with the my family, and I get all depressed, and I say fuck it, and I give up. You know, that's probably what it is. Do you feel like getting high now, or? I got ten dollars to my name. I got to give you a couple of dollars out of that. If I do that, I won't have no money to eat tomorrow. But you still got the urge to do it anyway. Yeah, right. Can't do nothing for less than fifteen dollars in this neighborhood. I only got ten. I walk down here for nothing. Oh, you you came here to score? Or? Yeah, I came here to cop because I thought they were dimes, but they're fifteen. You wouldn't want to chip in five dollars for one. I got ten. Oh no, I couldn't, okay. man. I really okay. couldn't. Great. I'm gonna take your. Uh, philosophy. I'm just gonna say fuck it, go home. Who are you going home to? CBGB's. I live at a hotel upstairs. Oh! You got some family there or? No, I'm staying there while my wife and me are fighting. I, I got a house. We have a home in, in Nassau County. I have three kids too. It's crazy. It, the, the reason why we're not getting along is because of this. When I work, I spend the money on garbage. It's crazy, you know. It's, it's my own fault. I can't, I shouldn't complain to you. It's my own God, God, damn fault. The thing is, my kids are in their teens now, and it's better that they don't see me if I'm going to be like this. It's better that I stay away from them as much as I don't want to. My own children, i got to stay away from them because I get high. If there is a devil and there is a hell, sure as hell the drugs are the devil's toy, devil's whatever. It's, it's hell. It sure is. How, how is it hell? It, it, it's hell because it's a trap. You, you, you can't get, never get enough. You can never, you run, you're always chasing that high. You can never get, you can never get satisfied. No matter, no matter how you think you're satisfied. Like, like me, it's very rare to see a person who does drugs to go home with $10 in his pocket. That, it, that's rare. I am just, just tired, okay? I'm tired of living this kind of life. Eventually, I'm gonna wind up getting killed in these streets. Or I'm gonna stop. I, I've tried going in for detox. It just don't seem to work. I stay straight for a couple of months and bang, I fight and all over again. What do you think from, like your childhood or something, might have caused you to? Do... No, it's no, no. All the things that I could blame it on, I won't, because I'm a man. I, I, I got to accept the responsibility. I'm not dealt a worse of him or a better him than you or him or him. You all got to make the best of it. So do I. If I want to fuck my shit up, I am suffering. I, I can't see my kids. I can't help be with my woman. I am paying the price for this, believe me. So why do you do it, man? Listen, why don't you try to get a fair? I, I'm going to walk up. Maybe <clears throat> I'll run into someone with five dollars. <laughs> Fat chance in this neighborhood. Right. Uh, you're in a bad neighborhood. You got to be careful around here. Yeah. I, I've been cut. I've been shot at. You gotta, you gotta make an image as if you're a bum, otherwise they will fuck with you. If you look like you got a dollar, they will fuck with you. But that place right there is a good place to get fares. I can get a fare where I drop you off at CB's. It's no problem. Thank you, God, for running into you. Thank you, God. This way, I ain't gonna fuck up. You, you, you force me to go to my door, I gotta go in, I gotta go out. That's it. I can't fuck up. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, God, for running into you. What happened to your hand, man? Something I was there. burned. I was in a fire. It was my own fault again. I had fallen asleep with What cigarette. happened? It looks like it. Yeah, I, they had to cut the part of the bone out and the whole shit. How did you burn yourself? Yeah, I'd fallen asleep with the cigarette. I had been drunk. I was the only one that got burned, thank God. That must have been a wake-up call, right? I was in the burn unit in Nassau County for nine months. That was the main thing that made us split up. Because she realized if he don't get the point after that, he ain't gonna get the point. I can't blame her. She was good, you know. 
she was good. I, I can't blame nobody. I really wish that I could blame someone. But I gotta be a man and look at it, the real deal. I did this to myself. I can't lie to myself and try to put the blame somewhere else when the blame belongs to me. Because eventually I'm going to try to get out of this hole that I'm in. And if I start lying to myself, I'll never be able to do that. You better give him a good tip. Give him a good tip. I will, I will. Come on, give him a good tip. Come on, Mustard. Come on, honey. Good boy. <laughs> He's a good dog. Good way, dude. Good me. No, he, no, really, he'll be a good dog. Sit down, Mustard. Sit down. What's a right. good boy? All right, don't say that. Thanks, see, you see a good dog? So yeah, 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 sure, man. Right. All right, good. Hey, Gabby, try to step on her, please. Gabby, my dog. All right, little, yeah, my, okay, we'll go. My dog's a little frightened. Step on her a little well, bit. How can you step on it if there's traffic well, in my head? Yeah, my dog. I'll be honest with you. Relax, right. Missy. Relax. She no, my so dog much. is trembling. Oh, are you guys? Are you guys married? Yes, we are. Oh, really? Man, we just tied the knot yesterday. Yesterday we got married. Are you serious? Yes, we did. Oh my God! Congratulations, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, good for you. So what made you guys decide to get married? Well, because we're in love. Aww. And we're expect uh, and, and we're expecting a baby. Oh, really? Yeah. Double congratulations. And, uh, and we're both Leos. My <laughs> dog is a Leo. His dog is a Leo. I got and a little chihuahua. He gets along with him. How'd you meet? Well, we met together. Oh, uh, wait, would you really want to know? She don't let me talk. Uh, the truth of the matter is, um, I was going out with uh, this guy for two years, right, Mike? Right. He lives across the street from me. Now, Willie used to come up to the house, and when he saw, we well, always used to drink, and uh, everything was copacetic. So one night, he flipped on me, which is mm, the guy that I thought was going to marry me and take me to City Hall. Right? Ain't that right, sweetheart? Yes. So when he, when, when he came home, he just fucking flipped. He's a cabbie, by the way. Really? <laughs> yes, he is. He's the cabbie too, yeah. And he did a yes, double. He did. Wait, so what did, what did he do when he flipped? Okay, that's where Willie came in. All right. All right, we're in the kitchen, we're in the living room. He just flipped on us, Mike. Um, flipped on me. He took a fucking guy, he got a steak knife, mind you, grabbed me by the wrist. Ain't that right, Willie? Yeah. He said, listen, let me taste it right now. And he had the knife just like this, Mike. You looking at me? He said, I'll kill this fucking bitch right here, right now. He said that and to you? You yeah. That? Yeah. Then he was like, shoot him. Tell him. He really, went, what happened? I right, told him, tell listen. Tell you him. fucking put that fucking knife right down. Right now. Your yeah, hand ain't faster than a bullet, isn't it? Yeah, you yeah, want to yeah. go with you right then? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I got a license to go because I own a restaurant. Willie's want to save my life. Anyways, and I, he had to buy her wrist. Yeah, he's about to stab me. He said, I, I'll kill your dog, too. That's uh, how we ended up being together. <laughs> I ended up saying I. Oh, you did me a favor. Oh my you God. Did us a favor. <laughs> why was why was your boyfriend about to stab you? Why? Why are you? Because he thought I was cheating on him. No, he thought we were. We were, we were together. Right oh, he yeah. thought he thought you two were. We were uh, hitting it on together. So in the end, in the end, he was right. Uh, no. 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 Way. no, no I know you were. You were no, doing we it, but now together. Together. No yeah, you ended up together. You we ended, ended up together. together. Right. But you know what? I mean, I'm 43 years of age. I did. I, I just turned 43. How do I look, Mike? You look good. For you real? Look really good. Yeah. I told her that. She's beautiful. Yes. That's how you can right now. Is she? Is she beautiful so, for 43 years old? You're lucky, no. Willie. Uh, yes, I am, man. I'm dirty, and I love her. Ah, nah, 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 there's so many, man. Jealousy. Uh, jealousy. jealousy. Who's jealous of? Uh, and, and now you both know of us. Like, really? Man. Yes, we, we are. We're both Leos. We're both jealous. I walked in the garden street. You know, you know, you know those horses have those stupid things that go like this. <laughs> Whatever you go. <laughs> right, I, right, I, right. I don't even walk down the garden fucking avenue with that, Mike, because it's so bad. He, he, he's pathetic. So what, what, well, Willie? You're looking. You're looking. I look at her eyes to make oh, sure Mike. she's not looking at no guy. Oh, Mike. <laughs> oh, Mike, he has no problem. He has no problem. All right. You got the problem. She makes I'm... me look at the ground. So does Buster get upset when you guys argue? Yeah. Oh, he does. Yeah. What does he do? Oh. Look at this. No, 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 Mike, no, Mike. Let me explain hey, something. This man. is it, but oh, No, no, you can laugh all you want. You know what? My dog is a... Uh, he's yeah. protective of her. He... Buzz is very protective of me. He's a shepherd, okay, Mike? Now listen to me. Stop crying. I had to, no, it's not. Let me just say it's okay if Mike. You cry. I have to put my dog down. You're gonna put Buster down? I have to. Why? He's getting too old. And he's too aggressive. We got the wolf. He's got getting 12 old. years. But he looks so sweet. Look at him. I got Where? about 30 dog bites. Oh, wow.
Mike. How come? What happened that he bit you? Look I'm very protective because my dog is very protective of me. That's number one. Because I always tell, I always tell my man, you know, my dog don't like hand movement like this. Uh-huh. Don't, don't. So I'd speak with my hands. Okay. You know, and like, or if he throws something. And one time I went to give him food. And he grabbed my hand. Wait a minute, Mike. But that was because we were arguing, so he thought I was going close to her. What <laughs> <laughs> the fuck? I don't even fucking do it You're that, asking Mike. for a Willie. Shit. Yeah, yeah. Shit. Is that, is that why you're putting him down? No, no, no. No, he's getting you. too old. So when when are you going to put him down? I don't. <laughs> next week. Oh, I don't next want, week. Mike, I don't even want to think about it. Don't cry. <laughs> that's me. He's a good boy. And the right buzzer. <laughs> right, boy? Yeah, sure. No problem. No problem. Hurry up and get there. <laughs> so, what's up? What you doing tonight? Basically, I'm tr trying to get more money. How are you getting your money? I'm a, a call girl, escort, I guess you could say. Oh, really? Yeah. What is it like having sex with, with people for money? It's not the best, it's not fun, but it's quick, it's fast money. So, and when I want to, when I want to do drugs, you know, I, I'm gonna do what I gotta do. Were you getting high first, or you were tricking first? I was getting high first. Okay. And then. And then I, after that, you started tricking to support the habit. Right, because I needed money. Right, and that's a very expensive habit. Very All expensive. Right. You know the first time you ever had to trick? The very first time. How old were you? Fourteen. You were fourteen. Wow. Oh my God, 14 years yeah. old. That must have been something for a 14 year old. Well, um, compared to what I've been through, this is nothing, this, is, this ain't shit. My, really? my very first time ever being touched sexually by a man, I was raped. Really? And I was 11 years old, and it was by my, uh, oh my, God. my marijuana dealer, because I first started doing marijuana. And I had only known him for maybe about four weeks not even a month one day i had gone over there in the morning it was about mid 10 30 11 o'clock he thought he was eyeing me funny and i started getting that feeling that something's gonna go wrong I was scared nervous as hell but trying to play it off right i got to the door and the door was like there's two locks on it right by the time i got that first lock on done right he pushed me against the door right and he had slammed his hands up against it and said, you are not going nowhere. And So you just you just wanted to bledding him? Instead of instead well, of Well, he abuse? ripped my pants off right. and tried to keep my legs closed. Right. You had never even been with anybody. No. Never been fingered. Oh my and God. I screamed. Luckily he was done in five minutes. I put my pants up, he didn't say a word, and left. He didn't say a word to me. And I, I bled for almost an hour and a half. For an hour and a half? Really bad. Well, what started to crack, though? Because that's a serious trick. I was homeless. Right. And I had done Special K, cocaine. You know, I didn't know there was a drug like this. Right. Or like heroin. How old were you? 13. I was just turning 14. My birthday was two days after. Well, how was it the first time? I took my first hit. Boom. That was it. You were hooked after that? Yeah, How everybody gets feel, hooked though? after that. Ask any crackhead, you know? Right, right, right. And I got a little bit of self-respect. Right. And even though the money I get, I buy crack with it. Right. I also buy food because right. I have to eat. I buy clothes. Let me ask you something. Do you ever what? sit do you ever sit back and 
and really reflect on how sleeping with these guys affect you? Oh, God, all the time. Really? All the time. What do you, what do you think? Oh, I think it's disgusting. It's pitiful. It's sickening. But they look at you like you're just a hoe, a whore. You do it for one particular reason. They don't stop and look. You know, I. they don't put themselves in that person's shoes. Are you think you're ready to quit crack? I got crack on me right now. <laughs> you know, I'm going to live it up and I'm going to have as much, fun, as much fun. You think that this has brought you fun, though? Huh? No. Are you kidding me? This shit ain't bring me nothing but fucking heartache, pain, trouble. You know, you never know what you've lost until you've lost it. And, uh... I mean, you could wind up dead or worse. There's worse things than dying, actually. Yeah. To live like this is almost. I've hard. been tortured. You've been tortured? What the hell happened? Tied down, brought with cigarettes. Burned with cigarettes? By tricks? I had a baseball bat stuck in my pussy. A baseball bat? Yeah. Are yeah. you serious? Yeah. What the hell happened? I uh -huh. killed the guy. You killed the guy? What happened? He started hitting you or? He was my boyfriend. He was your boyfriend at the time? So he was torturing you for what? Just... No. Hey, he thought it was funny. He thought it was funny to stick a baseball bat in your vagina? Uh huh Oh my god. And what did you what did you do after that? I killed him. How the hell did you kill him? Took a steak knife and he was sleeping. Cut his, cut his head off. You cut his what? Head off. With a steak knife? You literally chopped it the hell off? Yes! You're, you're lying. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. You sawed it the hell off? <laughs> yeah. They found him three weeks later. All identifiable man with his head cut off. Yeah, right. <laughs> Kid you lying. not. Kid you not. So how, how did it feel to kill him? Pretty motherfucking good. Pretty good? Yeah. I was screaming. You were screaming when you were doing it? Yeah. Me and cops. When he did that thing with the with the bat. No, he tied my feet up. Yeah, I never knew he was like that. I got scared, you know. Jesus. Wow, wow, wow. Yeah. But you, but you, you bounced, obviously. Yeah, I left. I left that very night. Wow. I left Manhattan. I came out here. I had to pull in.